I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, the piece is cut. It's time to do some assembly. I don't know who it was, probably some industrial engineer with a retail marketing degree added to his little uh, sheepskin, decided that the best thing to do would be to put stickers on every stinking board they sell. Now, I got no problem with them doing business the way they want to do it. They really could do something different than these stickers. They're a pain in the butt. And I gotta think, they don't improve the process that much. Now, admittedly, when I go to check out at Menards, the person running the cash register doesn't have to think. All they have to do is point the little scanner at the label and push the button, and if it gives them a number, that's what they sell it for. But I gotta tell you that if you're hiring people that are so inadequate that they cannot run a cash register and count out change, you really ought to look at your method of hiring. Because there's something wrong with it. Now I'm putting these cross pieces in at four and a half inches up from the bottom. Why am I doing four and a half inches? It just seems like the right thing to do. Well, that's square. Could have a little bit bigger bench to work off of, but I managed, I think I'll manage with this one. A couple more clamps would be handy too. And I could clamp both ends. Okay. Need a little bigger workbench. Especially when I start on the longer. I think I'll want to put them this way. Get a little more length to it.
It's more by luck than by conscious design, but it came out that the spacing is exactly the width of one cross piece. So I'm able to just drop a cross piece in there and put the screws in and hold everything straight and square. There we have one shutter. Now the designer and I talked and I think we're probably going to make this blue to match the rest of the house. But I think that's going to add a little bit of de decorative flair to the back porch. We talked about whether we were going to put the cleats in or out. And I think the consensus was out. Stink bugs. They're everywhere. I think it looks nice. Now on to making the rest of them. Three more to go. Here's the sounds of fall. Leaf blowers are going 90 miles an hour. Now I'm putting the screws in about a half inch in from the edge of the wood. I want to give it plenty of meat so it doesn't split out. But the screws are going to be on the back side, so I don't need to worry about spacing so much. Making sure that they're exactly where they belong. As long as they're on the back side and go all the way through and don't punch out the front, I'm good. Because this is inch and a half of wood and this is inch and a quarter screws, as long as I don't go a quarter inch down, I'm not going to punch through the other side. Doing the assembly in this little workbench actually is working out pretty well. Going this direction I can use the clamping feature of the bench top to hold the parts in place and help keep them aligned. So that's a plus. Not only does it keep them aligned, keeps them from 
sliding away from me when I'm working with it. Now there's a slight offset to one side. That's gonna to go towards the window frame. Because I recognize that trying to hit that exactly perfect is gonna be a losing battle. But if I leave all the offset on one side, I can put it up against the frame of the window and it won't affect the way the shutter looks. So this side is flush with the edge, then all I have to do is square it up, and if this one lands right on the edge, I'm good. If it's a little bit off, it's okay too. That way when I flip this over, I can put the screw in on this side and that side. And it will work just fine. Kiwi pine. Kiwi, that's more than likely New Zealand. So are we getting trees shipped in from New Zealand in a country where we have more trees than Carter's got liver pills? makes no sense. Ship this stuff absolutely halfway around the world. For no apparent reason other than we can.
If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.